guys my name is MJ and you're welcome to my youtube channel thanks for watching this video if you're watching me for the first time make sure you subscribe to this channel and to my returning subscribers i love you and also to my new subscribers thanks for joining this amazing community i hope you're enjoying your time here <laughs> So today I want to teach you guys how to write a supporting statement. So if you're making a job, I mean on an online job application in the UK for a nursing role or whatever role, you will need a supporting statement to back up that application. So I'm going to teach you how to write a supporting statement in this video. Stay with me. I'll be right back after the break. Welcome back. So what is a supporting statement? A supporting statement is that simple piece of essay that sums up your interests and your journey so far in your career. Yeah, it's that simple. But every information that you're putting in a supporting statement has to be relevant to the current application. That's one of the mistakes a lot of people make. A supporting statement is not a one size fits all. Okay, it has to be um, spe specific to that application. So it depends on the role you're applying for or the position you're applying for or the specialty you're applying for. That is how you have to review your supporting statement to fit it. So I've come up with seven questions that your supporting statement needs to answer. Okay, so if your supporting statement does not answer these questions, then you might need to review it. Okay, so the first question is, why are you applying for the job? Make it as simple as possible. Okay, make, make it as direct as possible. It doesn't have to be bulky. Okay, so simply give them the reason why you're applying for the job. And the second question is, why do you consider yourself the best candidate for this role i've read you know you have no idea how many supporting statements i've had to review and it makes me laugh sometimes and i don't i, I mean i don't it's not your fault it's just that they don't know they're gonna have thousands of application okay and you need them to pick you so you need to really come out like come out correct okay <laughs> So you need to give it to them. Why do you consider yourself the best candidate? Think about it. Think about this question very well and answer it. Next question right is, okay. what additional relevant training or experience have you got? Take note of relevant, but I keep saying relevant. There's some training that are not relevant, that, do, that will not be relevant to that application. So you need to give us the relevant ones or the relevant experience. So I remember when I was applying for a particular role, I checked the person's specification and they needed someone that's got management training, okay? So I remember that back in my country, I did a training about three or three or four days on soft skill and management. So I had a certificate, I added that up, I added that to my supporting statement. So these are the kind of information we're talking about. And if it's an experience also, you need to put it. This is where they all come in, okay? So that's what that question is about. And then the fourth question is, what additional relevant educational qualification have you got? I mean, some people are not just registered nurses. They've got multiple of other um, qualifications that is relevant yeah, to the application. So it has to be the ones that are relevant to your application. You will, ha you will have to have gone through the job description, gone through the um, person specification and see what they want and check your qualifications. Did I take this? Maybe you take, took a training online. Maybe you were part of a webinar, whatever it is that you have a qualification for, okay? yeah it's an i mean and it's educational you need to put it everything to support your application so the fifth question is what are your strengths and note your strengths they need i mean they must be pertinent to this application you need i keep to, i keep i mean i keep talking about how relevant this information must be they must be okay they must be very very relevant to the application so what are your strengths so again, check the person's specification, check your job role, check every information that they've given you in that um, application and make sure that you figure out what your strength is. Whatever your strength is, if it's strengths, there's a lot of them, you need to put it in your supporting information. The sixth question, when did you have your last appraisal done? I want to last appraiser. An appraiser is that like a one-to-one -one discussion with your line manager or your mentor or whoever is in charge of your unit. Okay, so it might not. It doesn't have to be. It has to be formal. I mean, formal between the two of you. 
Yeah. So in during an, during an appraisal, you discuss your 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 um, achievement so far, where you're struggling, where you need um, support, where you need improvement, and also you get to set some objectives for yourself that you look forward to achieving before the next year. Okay, or in the next year. So that's what an appraisal is about. And sometimes you must have it documented. Okay. So when last did you have this done? And if you've never started to do one, maybe, maybe it's high time you actually take one before you write a supporting statement. So what was the feedback if you have? What was the feedback like? What was the feedback from your um from the person who appraised you? What was the feedback from them? Of course, we want the good feedback. <laughs> so input that in your support. Final question, which is the seventh one, is what are your long-term goals? It's important. Look forward to like, where do you see yourself in the next, next five years? What do you want to achieve? You know, so think about your long-term goals. It's very, I mean, it's quite unfortunate that some people don't, don't have any goals. It's not their fault, they just don't have it. They just don't think they should have it. It's important. Okay, that's how you grow. When you set goals for yourself, that's what pushes you. That's what motivates you to want to do more because you want to achieve that goal. And you know you have to do a lot of things to be able to achieve that goal. So think about it. What are your long-term or short-term goals, okay? Include that in your supporting statement. It's going to make your su supporting statement robust. When they're reading it, their head is swelling. <laughs> they are impressed, okay? That's how to have a unique supporting statement. That's how to make your supporting statement stand out. So I hope you found this simple um, tutorial on writing supporting statement useful. If you've got any question, make sure you drop it in the comment section. I always check the comment section. I share new videos every Sunday at 1 p.m. Make sure you turn my notification on. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I'm going to see you guys next week Sunday, same time. I love you. Enjoy the rest of your day.